Thank you for participating in the Money Matters program. For those of you who received this book, the pages will be on the bottom of this video. For those of you who did not receive a book, you can access this information on our website, www.dhfunforkids.com. Welcome to the Money Matters program. I'm Mr. Daniel, and I'm excited to teach you this program. Over the next several sessions, we hope for you to gain knowledge about financial literacy, learn about checking accounts, gain information about budgets, saving money, give you an, and give you an idea of how you can pay for college. Before we get into today's lesson, we have prepared a pretest for you to take. For those of you who received a book, completing and turning this, in this pretest is a requirement for completion of this program. Now don't, don't have any pressure about this pretest. It's okay if you do not know an answer. Now please take the time to complete your pretest. Before we go on to today's activity, we have some financial definitions we would like to go over. First one is short-term financial goals. Items you can save for now and buy in a few months. Next we have long-term financial goals. Items that may take a few years to save enough money to purchase. Now we have a want. Something you would like but can live without. And then there's a need. A necessity. Something you can't live without. Now I'm going to introduce today's activity. For the first part of today's activity, we want you to list three short-term and three long-term financial goals. One short-term goal that I have is to pay my car insurance. One long-term financial goal that I have is to buy a house. For the second part of our activity, we want you to think about three wants and three needs that you have after graduating high school. A want you may have after graduating high school is, your new, is the newest iPhone. And a need you may have after graduating high school is textbooks for college. Now please take the time to do this activity. Today you are introduced to some basic financial principles. Over the next several sessions, we will expand on these ideas and add new ones for you to take control of your financial future.